Coast Guard, Briar Sheriff's Office. We're pulling up on the. We have people in the water with flares. On Saturday, January 7th, at approximately 10 a.m., Broward Sheriff's Office Marine Patrol Unit deputies Jay Dunning and Daniel Rocha were alerted to a boater in distress. On the radio, we heard distress call for a vessel that was taken on water while they were trying to hail the Coast Guard. Uh, after that, we didn't. They just said they were a few miles offshore outside the Hillsborough Inlet, so we immediately started to head that way. Dispatch, while we were en route, had received a 911 hang up. 911, what is that? Just for the emergency. Uh, we're in a boat. Uh, we're two miles, two miles south of the lighthouse, Hillsborough Inlet, about three miles offshore. We need the Coast Guard to take it on water. Uh, yeah, we need somebody fast. We got life jackets out. Sir, what color is your boat? Hello, sir. You there? The 911 call was disconnected shortly after, and several attempts were made to reconnect with the boater via phone and a very high frequency radio. I attempted several times to try to hail that vessel again and get a better description of the vessel, uh, where they might have actually been coordinates wise. Other people were then hailing again on the VHF radio trying to get exact coordinates, and they weren't answering. I remember that dispatch said they had, were receiving a call. I pulled up the call on the computer and saw that there were some coordinates. I had to convert the coordinates, and once I converted them and put them on the map, I saw that we were actually just southwest of the location where they were supposed to be at. So we started changing our direction. And then as we're getting closer, we start to see the smoke coming off the flare, and, and we know that this is it, this is going to be it. So it's definitely a feeling of relief. The West Coast Guard, Sheriff's Office, we're pulling up on the, we have people in the water with flares. They're going to be just southeast of the Hillsborough Inlet. I'll give you a location once we get them on board. Oh. Oh, one second, we get the door open for you. All right, we want to, we got to. Anybody first? Hold on, I'll get to you. All right. We'll get him, we'll get him. As long as he, hold on, just hold on to the raft right now. Hold on to the raft. We got you. Hold on to the raft. I got you, I got you. It's a lot. You can step right on it. I got you. Deputies Rocha and Dunning attribute the successful sea rescue to the coordinates obtained from the 911 call, which allowed them to locate and rescue the stranded boaters in what they described as a needle in a haystack. The Marine Patrol unit deputies also noted that having the proper equipment on board a vessel, such as a VHF radio, a life raft, flare, and life jacket is crucial in an emergency. The items can mean the difference between life and death. Once we got them on the vessel, our boat, I immediately got them life jackets just in case because the seas were a little bit rough and I didn't want them to happen to go back in the water. So immediately got them the life jackets. Uh, we provided them water just due to the fact of the high, high stress situation. On board the boat while we were making our way back into the inlet, they were, you know, very thankful, thanking us. Uh, one of the gentlemen at the end, like they were shaking hands with us at the end. He's like, I'm not, I'm not going to just shake your hand. I got to hug you. So it was, it was a good feeling. Uh, a couple of them were very happy in uh, telling us how they thought they would not have made it had we not found them. Uh, soon. Might have been a hard Thanks, one. Yeah. Appreciate it. Hey, I, I'm not going to thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like Thanks, I said, man. I'm glad it had a good ending. Thanks again, guys. Thank yeah, you. Appreciate I'm it. glad you guys had the safety equipment that you needed. We know it's a rec recreational activity and that we know people want to enjoy themselves, but we just want to make sure people do it safely.